Well, good day, Spartan families and students. I'm Mr. Kortoff. I've been teaching here for multiple years, and it's my joy and pleasure to welcome you to a brand new school year, uh, especially for our students who are online. We're going to make this as uh, easy transition as we can, and we want to show you how, for both in person and online, how you'll be accessing some of your materials and curriculum in our online platform. It is called uh, Bright Thinker. So this is the web page that you will go to at the beginning of your day to log in and wacka.agilixbuzz.com. This is how we get into Bright Thinker itself. You will be receiving information from your teacher on how to log in with your username and password to get into Bright Thinker. So up here will be your username in the top right hand corner along with your password. Make sure you put your username and password in and then click log in. Now, when you log in, you may get a dialog box that uh, pops up here for choosing to use as a student. You'll do that. I'm going to go ahead and use as a teacher for just right now, uh, just so you can see some of the co available courses, for instance, in my sixth grade history classroom. So as I click in here, I'll change the student view in just a moment. But when your students' courses become active, they're going to see them pop up here on this main page right here. We have two tabs, the courses tab right here. Uh, you will have that for your students as well. And uh, here you'll see my three sixth grade classes I have going on for history this year, along with my high school economics. Your child will have course cards just like these on their home page as well. I'm going to go ahead now and switch to our student app. Now, currently it says I'm not enrolled in any active courses. They become active on Monday uh, at 8 o'clock in the morning. So uh, make sure uh, that you take a look at those. Uh, and then here is how we're going to uh, navigate Bright Thinker a little bit, just a little overview so you can understand how to navigate it. So we have courses, to-do list, activity stream up here in the top left-hand corner. Courses is where you can click on your course that you're doing for history or for science, uh, or whether it be for art, uh, literature. This is where they're all going to pop up. You can then click on each individual course card to open up your course. You can also do that from up here on the menu button next where it says student app. And then you'll be able to choose your courses. Now, I don't have any preloaded here since my courses are not active. But that's another way you can get access to them as well. Your to-do list, this is where you will see things that need to be completed that are assigned to you. And this will be not just for one course, but for all of your courses. You'll notice this is a little familiar from the to-do list that we had in Google Classroom last quarter. The activity stream, also very similar to what we had last quarter in Google Classroom. This is where uh, new postings will come up, announcements, and et cetera. This is where active things are being, uh, that, that are then made uh, available in BrightThinker. You'll see them pop up here as well, too. So again, we have our Courses tab where you can click on your individual subjects or your courses if you are in a 7th through 12th grade uh, class. You have your to-do list of things that need to be done. Think of it like your online agenda, essentially. These are things that need to be completed and have a due date for them. And the activity stream is things that are getting posted, uh, announcements that are coming out, so you can see uh, what is going on from your teacher for things that need to be taken care of or things that you need to be aware of. All right, the top left-hand corner again here for student app, I have a couple other functions. I have grades, notes, communication, and calendar. Regarding grades, we're going to be using our what we call eSchool or our Home Access Center. You'll be receiving information on how to log into that. Uh, that is where our grades actually will be stored, not here in BrightThinker itself. So if you want to see your child's grades or if your student wants to go and uh, check them out for themselves, they can do that through the Home Access Center. Your teacher will be sending you information on how to log into that. Notes, this allows you to see all the notes you've taken for your courses. You have the ability for each subject, each lesson that you go through to take notes, and then you can see them all compiled together in this tab here. Communication, this is where you'll see uh, announcements in particular come forth from your teachers. We will be sending announcements through BrightThinker, so please make sure you are keeping up with the communication. And then we have a calendar right here. This is also considered your digital agenda if you are virtual. If you want to keep your own agenda at home, that's fine as well, a physical one. But this also will suffice as a digital agenda where you can see all the scheduled activities or assignments or assessments or quizzes on here as well, too. So, again, that was grades, notes, communication and calendar. The click student app. This just takes you back home. Here is where you'll see all your courses again. 
We will also be posting a, a little tutorial on how to navigate uh, BrightThinker a little more. Uh, teachers will be putting out a little getting started lesson in BrightThinker that will walk them through these same steps so students can walk through and see how to do that. We look forward to seeing everyone online. If you have any questions uh, with regards to the BrightThinker uh, platform, um, if you are having trouble with its navigation, please feel free to reach out to your teachers. And if they need further support, they'll reach out to myself uh, as I'm our BrightThinker platforms uh, administrator, along with uh, Mr. Smith as well. We are looking forward to a wonderful year, and we hope everyone has a fantastic start to the school year.